Welcome to Around the Dog World and this is the big one. We welcome the very best dogs from all around the world at Crafts 2016. On this month's Around the Dog World, our main focus is of course the greatest dog show on the planet, Crafts 2016, here at the NEC. However, we have to turn our attention to the night before Crafts for the Poskers Awards Ceremony. It celebrates the hardworking, successful and the unsung that make this sport great. I'll hand you over to the hosts for the night, Lee Cox and Susie Ruffy. Welcome to Poskars. A celebration of the best of the British dog scene. We now move into the first two Porskas award categories of the night. The first category is the trade stand of the year. And the winner is Door West Perth. And the winner is Alf and Carol Wood. Photographer of the year is Pauline Oliver. And the winner is Margaret Datcher. The winner is Sheila Atter. Sheila is certainly looking very well. <laughs> and the winner is Pam Marston Pollock. And the winner is Midlothian. And the winner is Annandale. And the winner is Darlington. And the winner is Lauren Bridges. I think these three breeders are absolutely fantastic and at the top of their game. Tan, no matter what Tan has, it is turned out absolutely immaculately. The level of soundness he gets in those giant St. Bernards is unbelievable. Consistently breeds quality, sound, healthy animals. Dan's a great breeder. She brings consistently out good Irish setters, you know, they're like peas in a pod. Um, she spends hours and hours and hours looking at pedigree and trying to improve her dogs all the time. Those Samoids of Andrea's are, truly, they are, they are special. And beautiful dogs owned by not just her but other people as well. And, you know, that's the sign of a good breeder. And the winner is Dan Nagretcha. An efficient judge, no nonsense, you know. I would show under Jeff Horswell, win or lose, you know that you've come out and it's his honest opinion. He has a wonderful um, demeanour about him in the ring. An artist from start to finish, and if he hasn't got an eye for beauty, who has? Win or lose, and I've won under Tom and I've lost under Tom, but you know that it comes from the heart. One of the most sincere 
genuine judges you'll ever, ever meet. Fair with a capital F. That's that. And the winner is Jeff Hallswell. Unfortunately, Jeff can't be with us tonight, so on his behalf, his partner Zena Paul Andrews is accepting the award. He's, Jeff is really thrilled with this. He's working tonight, but he'll be back up tomorrow here. And on his behalf, I'm just thrilled to accept it for him. Thank you. For 50 years, this kennel has been one of, and in more recent years, arguably the most significant force in the breed. They're always ready to give advice and practical help to those who wish to know more about the world of terriers. Currently, 86 UK champion Airedales, plus quite a few more owned or handled in various other terrier breeds. So ladies and gentlemen, can I present to you Mary Swash, Olive Jackson. such a surprise and honour to receive this wonderful trophy and from this lovely lady talking about us. I feel really overwhelmed and so does Olive, I think. Um, but I must say that it seems a grand thing to earn an accolade like that when you've enjoyed every minute of it. I hope a lot more youngsters will join us. Oh, all right. Yay! Places you're going to get. Oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you. Tonight we have celebrated and applauded our peers, friends and fellow exhibitors in the various categories. But now we have the unsung hero. And the reason Crofts has its reputation of being the best is the hard work and attention to detail that this lady has devoted for so many years. We don't see her. Everything is organised. She has everybody under complete control and you never hear anybody say anything against her. She does a phenomenal job. Uh, undoubtedly, she plays an enormous part in making sure that Crufts continues to be the, what we all accept is the world's greatest dog show. Vanessa <laughs> McAlpine, or Ness, is this year's winner of the Ung San Hero Award 2015. I'm so humbled and I'm so delighted and so honoured that all you wonderful people here should think enough of me to want to give me this award. Obviously, just a few thank yous. I'd like to thank all my wonderful work colleagues. I'd like to thank my brilliant team back at the NEC now, trying to get the show on the road. But I think I have to thank my wonderful husband for the support I've had over so many years. And please enjoy the show in the next four days because that will be enough to continue. Welcome back to Around the Dog World on day one of Crufts 2016. Now throughout this weekend we'll be watching highlights of Breed, Group and the ultimate Best in Show Judging on Sunday night with Derek Smith. Now today it's the turn of toy and utility breeds, so let's join Andrew Brace by one of the busiest rings on day one, the Bulldogs. Well Andrew, nice to see you on, on a, an exciting day of day one of Crafts. Uh, and a busy, busy ringside here down at Bulldogs. Yeah, Bulldogs, incredibly popular, and uh, Graham Godfrey, very, very well-respected specialist judge. Um, he's had a packed ringside all day. Open Dog was an amazing class. There were some fabulous Bulldogs there. The, Sp the Spanish Dog, the Italian Dog, our number one utility dog from last year. We just saw the Open Dog winner, winner there. That was uh, champion Mel Jane, Bulldogs, King Edward titles all around Europe. This one's the limit winner. Riccatori Roman King. The ringside have, have enjoyed this today. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I can see from Graham's face. So has he. And he's got on with it. And this he even held the interest of Di Johnson all I, day. I, I, saw, I saw her earlier. She hasn't, she hasn't moved a muscle. And this is uh, mid-limit. Uh, Seahurst Hands of Stone. So, Andrew, 
he's now seen all the dogs and he's decided, it looks like it, the dog CC is in his hand. Now, where is, where is he going? Having won that open dog class, I think he's, he's have, he has to go with this. Yeah, he's gone, he's gone with the Spanish dog. He won the CAC and CACIB under me in, in Valladolid two weeks ago. He's, he's a handsome dog, fit and active, and uh, that looks like a very happy Spaniard to me. And we move on to best of breed. Later in the day, Sealville Candy was the bitch CC winner, the kennel mate of last year's top utility winner. Yeah, I mean, you know, how lucky can the seals be? Uh, they've had this phenomenal year with their male, yeah. but they also have this, this beautiful bitch. So he's seen these dogs both before, he's judged them in their classes, given them both the CC, and now it's head to head. And he, He's getting them on the move. Sending them round, yeah, which is interesting because a lot of Bulldog specialist judges, they tend not to move them excessively in profile. But, you know, he's looking for a dog to send into that huge big ring, so he wants to see what they're going to look like when they're going around. And it's, it's the dog, it's the Spanish male. Yeah. Mel Jane, Bulldogs King Edward, best of breed at Crafts 2016. Don't you love the enthusiasm of these Mediterraneans? And I mean, that was one hell of a cheer. And have you noticed the ramp? just recently introduced into this country for judging of certain breeds. And I'm sure Graham's back <laughs> will really appreciate the introduction of the ramp. We'll see you by the utility group a little later, Andrew. The German Spitz Klein and the Dalmatian and the Chow Chow, Japanese Shiba Inu, Laza Apso, Toy Poodle, the Skivaki, the Schnauzer. Going straight over to the German Spitz Klein, it is. Champion. My word, this is champion long sales genuine win. And goes it's the Shiba Inu taking group two. Third goes to the Toy Poodle, Aiden Talk of the Town. And the Lazar Apso gets group four. Well, Dale and Gary and Jen, long time no see. Yes, um, <laughs> she's been out of the ring for last time she was in a show was Welks last year, but she was at um, Cross last year and got best of breed as well. She's been out of the ring um, to have some puppies and she's come back to her first show today. And what, what a comeback! <laughs> Considering I was thinking, will she be okay? She blew me away. Won a million dog. You, you a couple of years ago, you won top utility, and you were you were essentially retiring her then. You had, couldn't have dreamt of this. No, we couldn't. This, we, this is just beyond our wildest dreams. We never thought this this day would ever happen, and, and it has. And uh, I remember speaking to you at LK a couple of years ago, and you said you were, you were nearly going to sell it. Never sell it. We were, <laughs> we were offered um, quite a, a lot of money for her, um, which we gladly declined. As a baby, it was we didn't know whether to keep her or her little sister. <laughs> and her little sister went to the owner of the stud, stud dog, and we kept her. And the little sister's never been shown to grow too big. <laughs> so we glad we made that decision. Yeah. It felt like she, she upped the gear in that shortlist as well. Yeah, um, sort of something changed and I could just see she, she got serious. <laughs> and it's just a case of I've got to stand there and do what she tells me to do. Smooth good to Chihuahua. English toy terrier. Griffon Bruxellois. The Havanese. Italian Greyhound. King Charles Spaniel. Maltese. Pekingese. Pomeranian. So that's our toy group finalists. Purposeful march towards the Pekingese. The Pekingese from Scotland from the famous Yaki Kennel has won the toy group. In second place, that lovely Havanese. It's Italian Greyhound into third place in the toy group. And the little Pom group four. Eric, champion Yaki U R Cantona, group winner at Craftsburg. Oh, a fantastic win today. I'm saying this was his retiral show. He's won his 60th CC today. He's third time being best to breed at Crufts. So it couldn't have went any better. And to win the toy group was just the icing in the cake. And you've, you've retired him once before? Oh, I retired him last year at Crufts with his 59th CC because I had some young dogs to show. But I felt obliged to try and take him to Crufts once more and emulate his famous grandfather who was best to breed at Crufts three times. His grandfather won... The toy group three times in the trot, reserve wow. best in show and best in show at Crufts. And that was dangerous liaison? That was dangerous liaison. And best in show, you've already won best in show before, so you know all, uh, about all the stuff that goes on here. Uh, do you get time to take it in? I don't think so, because I, I'm not organised yet. I need to start <laughs> thinking about what's happening tonight and tomorrow and the rest of the days, because I expect it to be home tomorrow. <laughs> 
But you've had a bit of a busy day, haven't you? I've had a very busy day. We had five peaks we were shown, and we were shown the French Bulldog, and it's a long journey coming here. Uh, and you set off when? At two o'clock this morning. I think I was only just getting in bed. Well, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> well, very, very big congratulations. Uh, hopefully have a slightly shorter trip home, and we'll see you on Sunday. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. We are down at the pointer ring for our second year in a row, and quite rightly. Do you see the pointer? We watched all last year. Has one open bitch. Very strong class today, wasn't it? It was a beautiful class. There were some very, very nice bitches there. The two top bitches, plus a couple of overseas bitches. But Juicy's bang on form. She's moving like she always does. I mean, she, I've never seen her let Sam down. And if you haven't seen Ju Juicy before, she was the liver one second in line. Veteran at one end, minor puppy at the other. And it looks like we're going to get to see some movement down here, Andrew. Yeah, well, I think if, he, if, he's, if he's watching them on the go around, as he seems to be, I think Juicy's pretty much got it in the bag here, to be honest. Moving down the age ranks, you can, you can see some puppies having, having fun on the day out. I love to see puppies having a little bit of character about them and yeah. playing up and a little bit of naughtiness. And we look like it, we have a decision already. Rosette for the bitch CC in hand. And at the moment, Juicy stands joint breed CC record holder. This would put her away in front. There we are, 32 CCs. Juicy, show champion, Charm Philly, Juicy Couture, a 30-second bitch CC. And I believe when, when Rui judged the breed previously, she was actually his best puppy. So it will have given him some kind of satisfaction to see how she's blossomed. And she heads into best of breed. And it's a, a big ringside watching this watching this pointer best of breed competition, isn't it? Yeah, and it's going to be a very interesting decision here because Rui's dog ticket winner is show champion, 10 shilling, making whoopee at Orich Alcombe. A mouthful. It is a mouthful, <laughs> and, and it's a dog I know because he was actually the winner of my dog CC the day I gave Juicy best of breed at Birmingham National last year. Wow. This is where judging gets interesting. Rui is a pointer person with very set ideas on type. Mm. His heart is going to be drawn towards the type on the male, mm. whilst acknowledging the fact that the bitch could well be the one who stands a better chance in the group. And this is what's exciting down at the pointer ring, movement, especially when you have such exceptional movers like Juicy. Personally, I think she's a potential group and best in show winner, but is Rui going to get past his love of, of the dog's type? And that is very much Rui's cup of tea. Exactly. Now, the fact that he's standing back, looking at the head and expression on the dog, makes me think that this could actually tip it in the dog's face. That looks like that was the clincher. He's got the rosette. Yeah, yeah. I think he's... Um, best, of, best of breed, Craft 2016 is... It's the dog. Yeah, not surprise me at all. Way back in the pedigree, Rui sent over, I think, the dog's grandfather to this country. So it's the type that he's going to be impressed by. So that's the dog, show champion, Tenshil, and making whoopee at Orle Chalcrum. Best of breeding goes into the gun dog group later on, and we'll see you in the gun dog group. The English setter, German wirehead pointers, Gordon setter, Irish setter, the Lagotto, Chesapeake Bay Retriever, flat coated retriever, Sussex Spaniel. Here we go. It's the Gordon setter. <laughs> Topping the Gundog Group show champion, Lord Ace Fulcrum. In second place, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, a wonderful win for the breed. Oh, the little Lagotto Romagnolo takes third. It's the flat coated retriever gets fourth. David and James, congratulations. How many groups has he, has he totted up? In? Thank you very much. This is group number four. But you didn't imagine it, uh, any group coming at Craft? No, absolutely not. Never in a million years. Dreams come true. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah, just amazing. You, you'll have come to Craft before, but it's, it's always a different environment. Foreign dogs. Can you expect anything we come here? Uh, I don't think so, no, because it's, it's a completely different field of competition almost and I thought it was great to just be in that company, to be best to read in there was great, but to win it was just phenomenal. And when you saw Di was judging the, the group, she's, she's quite familiar with the dog? 
Um, no, I wouldn't have said so. No, she's never judged him before. She's not had anything to do with him before. So she, he, he's a new one for her in the same way that she as a judge is very new for, for him. So we don't know what to expect with her being a, um, a field trial judge as well as a, a confirmation judge. Yeah. Obviously, she was judging confirmation tonight. Yeah. Um, but she probably is more aware of, of sort of what's required out in the field than maybe some other judges are perhaps. And you've, you've, we've spoken to you in the past, you won the group at Darlington last year and you said and you said his movement is where he excels. Yeah, and it's not where I excel, which is why I'm a bit warm, <laughs> but uh, but yes it is. And I think the surface in there is great and it really suited him tonight and he just yeah. seemed to just float round, he felt really good. Welcome to Around the Dog World on day three of Crafts 2016 and we get to welcome a familiar face back to the programme. Marina, very nice to see you. Hi, hi, how are you doing? Uh, um, very well. You're going to give us a hand this weekend, it's a bit busy, you know? Yeah, it is a bit busy. Uh, it's jam-packed today, you yeah. can hardly get around the halls. Brilliant show, international event, great flavour. Uh, it's been a great few days so far and we also welcome back Andrew. First time in front of the camera this weekend. Have you enjoyed yourself so far? Well. Crafts is always special, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, of course, I've enjoyed myself. Um, now, we'll start on day one. Uh, Mary Dietz was the judge of the utilities group. She and, was indeed. And gave it to top utility 2014, Jen, the German switch client. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's not a breed that people generally associate with group winners, even though she is a best in show winner. Yeah. But she's one of those dogs that when you analyse her, there's actually not a lot wrong with her. And, you know, she was in good bloom, well handled, she always showed us well, so yeah, no problems I don't there. Want, I don't want to sound like you, but as soon as she started moving, I had to look her up in the catalogue. <laughs> See, there's hope for you yet. <laughs> in group two was the Japanese Shiba Inu, handled by Michaela Dunhill Hall. Well, of course, you know, Liz has a great reputation in Rottweilers, Akitas, now she's the Queen of Shebas. Queen of Shebas, that's good, isn't it? That was off the cuff, I never even rehearsed that, yeah. Um, no, you know, I mean, she, she produces consistent hmm. quality. And we had a toy poodle in third? Yeah, I, I watched a lot of the toy poodle judging, which is interesting. The Godfreys, mother and daughter, yeah. you know, they've consistently bred generation after generation of good, honest toy poodle bitches. And fourth was the Larsa up, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. again, a very, very typey Larsa. Not one of those flash and dash dogs, yeah. but a very, very correct dog. So onto the toy group, we had a Pekingese. Topping we that, Yankee Eric. Ooh, ah, Cantona. Ooh, ah, Cantona with Wee Bet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, the breed record holder. 60 cc. He's a very, very good Pekingese. And, and he handled the big ring well. Um, and we move on to group two in the, uh, the toy, sorry, uh, Havanese. It's a big winning Havanese. It's a breed that's only recently had CCs in this country. But I mean, a very beautiful Havanese that handled itself well, lovely on the go around, kept a perfect outline. And another uh, more unusual breed to take group placing was an Italian Greyhound. A very, very pretty Italian Greyhound. Again, a breeder that turns them out generation after generation. And we move on to group four as a Pomeranian. Yeah, bred in Norway by Shell Rune Rosberg, a good friend of mine who has Chihuahuas as well. Um, you get to practice your accents at Crafts, don't you? I do the piss take, and you're supposed to be the straight He's bilingual. <laughs> I have heard. <laughs> um, I spoke to him that evening, and he was, you know, why wasn't I there to see it? You know. <laughs> and we step into day two. This was just one group, Gun Dogs. Um, and it was a Gordon Setter. Gordon, it was indeed, Gordon, yes, yes. Big winning Gordon Setter. An interesting situation there because a lot of people assumed that David might do a lap of honour mm. as it was bred by the group judge's sister. But, you know, he chose to show. He wasn't breaking any rules. And Di obviously felt it was the best in the group and he won. Uh, Chesapeake Bay, very unusual breed to see in the group placing. Yeah. Takes second. But, I mean, Di, Di is a working gun dog mm. person, you know, she'd want something that was functional. Mm. And the Chesapeake obviously fitted the bill. And then we had the Legato, Legato a Romagnolo. <laughs> Again, something yeah. different. Yes. Yeah. And, and I mean, it's an interesting breed and a breed that I'm sure will become more and more popular. Mm. Lovely size, good heads. Um, yeah, very biddable dogs. And if you remember 12 months ago, uh, we saw reserve best and show flat coated retriever. Mm. Same dog, comes back, wins best of breed in group four. Flat coats, you know, it's that happy, outgoing, joyous sort of gun dog. And I mean, this flat coat, you know, ticks all the boxes. Dublin's had a, an amazing year, continuing winning ways abroad as well, winning best in show at the Amsterdam Winner Show in December as well. So, you know, just a few months later to come back to Crofts and get another group pacing mm -hmm. is no mean feat. No. Well, thank you, Marina. Thank you, Andrew. We'll see you both a little later on today, hopefully. And we'll head into the working group now, judged by Carrie Yardman. 
So there's the Alaska Malamute. And the Bouvier. And the Bull Massive here. Giant Schnauzer. The Mastiff. And the Newfoundland. Portuguese Water Dog. And the Tibetan Mastiff. He has. Champion Lisport Lord of the Rings, Hector, takes the group. The Bouvier de Flan. Group two, the Bull Mastiff. Newfie gets group three. And last year's and group finally... winner has to be content with group four this year. Michael, you're a Crafts working group winner. How does that sound? <sighs> Amazing. Absolutely thrilled to be this. No, I, we, we came and saw you at the Bouvier ring earlier on. You were you were a bit nervous and a bit excited there, weren't you? Yeah, definitely. We had a lot of European competition today and we were just ecstatic, winning the open dog and then getting the dog ticket and then the bitch ticket with the system making under an English champion. And then to even be shortlisted in the working group was amazing. And then to win it is just phenomenal. Really buzzing, really <laughs> pleased. For any handler, I think, for, and they're not my dogs. So for, I'm excited for the handler, for the owner as well. Yeah. So yeah, over the moon. Uh, what is it you do to get Hector performing for you every time? It's a rapport I think every handler's got to have with dogs. Any dog they show, they've got to have a rapport and a bond with the dog. Like I do spend a lot, an awful lot of time with the booths and they, they seem to react really well with it, as do my other broods. Um, the atmosphere in there is quite different. Do you, do, do you feel he dealt with that well? Yeah, it is pretty electric in there. It's it's madness. But yeah, he was on form. He was just wanting treats. He just wanted to play. He was he's well, he's still very young, so he was excited, but he was happy. That's the way I like my dogs. <laughs> well, congratulations again. Here's your rosette. She gave them to me. So, uh, congratulations. See you tomorrow night. Yeah, see you later. Belgian Shepherd Gronendal, the Malinois, the Border Collie, the Rough Collie, Smooth Collie, the Lancashire Healer, the Old English Sheepdog, Pyrenean Mountain Dog, Samoyed, the Shetland Sheepdog, Pembroke. He it's liked that Border that Collie. Border. He loved it. And Group Two is the Pyrenean. The lovely Sheltie takes third, and, and the Sammy gets Group Four. <laughs> Sylvia, did you expect that tonight? Uh, it was, uh, I'm overwhelmed and I'm absolutely full of emotions. <laughs> it's crazy in there, isn't it? It, it, it been is crazy, yes. Yeah. Many, many interviews, many, many pictures. I, I, I only just can say wow. Frank Kane yes. came to judge the breed because yes. he was the referee. Yes. Because there was a big entry of collies today, weren't yeah. there? Yeah, it was a big entry and he was the referee and it was not clear for me that he win the show of best of breed, yeah. yes, because he is coming from Germany and yeah. this is UK. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, but he was thinking he's the best dog. I, <laughs> I, I spoke to your husband yes. and he said you were heading home tomorrow. Not anymore. No, no, <laughs> no, no. And I have no clothes to change. This is the biggest problem. Oh, that's not good. No, not really. <laughs> not really good. If you have no chance, I have to put this is this clothes make me this is a big luck. Yeah. You're yes. not, not gonna change. No. <laughs> no. Welcome back to Around the Dog World here at Crufts 2016. It's day four. And last night we watched the working and pastoral group. Andrew, we'll start in the working group. Hector, last year's top working dog, wins the Crufts working group. Yes, the Bouvier, Michael Craig, he had a great year last year. Um, and he's still relatively young. Carrie Arvin and Judge the group. I mean, Hector is very impressive on the move. He's a p free, powerful mover. And then in second, it was quite an international quartet. In second place was the Bull Mastiff with Francesca Pavesi from Italy. She and, and Fabrizio Mani are actual professional handlers, mm. but she actually bred this dog herself and, right. and owns it herself. And um, he's, he's a handsome Bull Mastiff. And so group three was the Newfoundland. We always see this breed feature quite well in the working group yeah, of Yeah, and um, this is a dog, um, I believe he's actually born in America, but he's handled by Belgian um, Patrick Borgarts. That is one of the most international breeds at this show. Um, and then fourth, of course, we have Sue Ellis, you know, who was so consistent with her top winning Malamutes. Last, yep. last year's Crufts Working Group winner. Yeah, and I mean, this is the breed that lasts. You know, Malamutes can be at their best when, you know, when they're six and seven years of age. And Marina, your favourite group of the night, Pastoral. <laughs> yeah, it was. I was actually commentating on it, so I didn't actually get to see the dogs properly, but I'll watch it all on the tape back. But obviously, a Border Collie topped the group. Yeah, I, I hung around the, um, the breed ring. There seemed to be a lot of discussion, but eventually Frank Kane was located and came and refereed. And um, yeah, I mean, the dog, he's a handsome dog, he's a free moving dog, he, he has the courage of a border collie. And um, I, I wasn't at all surprised to see, him, uh, to see him win the group. I love the Pyrenean dog, 
is just so full of breed type and I love the way that he wheels his tail. You know, freezy move, exquisite headpiece. Much smaller dog in third, it's a Shetland sheep dog. Yes, yes. Karin Orkerson, although Karin is Swedish, she works primarily with British bloodlines. And then, of course, in fourth, we had the little scene stealer. Yes, yeah. oh, I know. Um, Story with, of the um, weekend. With, yes. yes, little Miss Bridges yes. um, showing sportsmanship. At I its believe best. she's just nine, so that possibly makes her the youngest handler to win a group placing at Crufts. Yeah, no, but it's good to see these youngsters, and, and it's good to see them doing such a good job. Yeah, she did it, do an exceptional job. Uh, um, and today, we were standing outside this ring last year, wire fox terriers. Um, there's a bit of excitement here again, isn't there? Um, I believe so. I think the Travella dog is returning. That, that's the, that's the rumour. I've heard so. Um, King is certainly here, so it could be a it could be a head to head. Oh, who knows? Yeah. Something else could appear yeah. that would appeal to Mrs. Thornton. It, it was a it was a five deep by the ringside last year, and, and we've got to get inside. So we have. Yeah. Let's let's see if we can catch open dog. Here we are, Andrew. Wire Fox Terriers take two. Uh, we were here last year uh, to see Oliver and King go head to head, mm -hmm. and we're back again. Yeah, it's an interesting class, and um, Jenny Thornton's judging if either of them should win. I mean, someone else could win, who knows? Um, but I would think they would be the front runners. And I mean, these two dogs alone have won so many, so much between them. Well, I mean, Oliver's notched up a, a, an incredible record in the UK. He's now, now based in South America. This is King leading the lap. Uh, I think we've got Oliver fourth in line. And obviously, Warren would be hoping with King because the Crufts group judge is Dan Erickson, who was given him two groups at FCI World Shows. And I think uh, Oliver has also had a group from Dan Erickson before. I, be I, be I believe so. Is it as high quality as it was last year? It's a strong open dog class. I don't think it was as strong as last year, to be honest. I mean, last year was a real feast. King's first on the table, and he, he looks up for it today. Well, he's, you know, I mean, Warren puts the dog down beautifully, and he's, he's on his toes. Does King excel in movement? He's a very steady dog, he's, and he's got this natural smartness about him. I mean, let's be honest, it's the, it's the breed that lends itself to being presented. Mm. And he's, you know, he's, he's such an obliging show dog. I love it when they do that free stack. And, you know, spirit. Terriers and, and, have to have spirit. And he's got that previous record at Crafts, a group win and a group two. Mm -hmm. He's got to be hoping for more. And we'll scan down the line quickly, and we'll come to Oliver. 21 best in shows in the UK. Mm, amazing. And how many has he notched up in Brazil already? I have no idea. Quite a few, I would imagine. It must be quite emotional for Richard Allen to be reunited with yeah. his former charge. He looks yeah, like yeah. he's enjoying himself. Well, he's been in that Brazilian sunshine, hasn't he? <laughs> who, who would say no to that? No, absolutely. Well, come back after the break and find out if King or Oliver can conquer the wire ring this year. Welcome back to Crufts 2016 on Around the Dog World. Before the break, we watched Oliver and King go head to head in open dog and wire fox terriers under Jenny Thornton. And that's them all been moved again. As I say, she's not been messing around, so this might not take long. No. Both the handlers must be quite hopeful of, of results later on, so. Well, who... Handlers are always hopeful. <laughs> Glances at King and down the line to Oliver. Down the line again. She's hesitating. Oliver's done it. No, Richard, Richard's out first. Oliver, first in open dog. Wiping, wiping his sweating brow, I suspect. Or is it tears? No, no, I think it'll be, a, <laughs> it'll be sweat with Richard. He doesn't do tears. As Oliver first, King second. And the, that's the Japanese dog with Tony Barkers, I think, there with Andrew. Almost Westford, a reversal of last year. Oliver finished third in open with King in first. And we, of course, move on to the dog CC. And again, no messing around. She she looks like she's gonna gonna get this this decision made pretty quickly. I can't I can't see her going far away from the open dog, to be honest. Do judges think about the records of no. have in the past? Well, they shouldn't be. Oh, there we are, Oliver. Yes, it's Oliver. Welcome back, Richards. Yeah, look, he's smiling. I think he's smiling. <laughs> I think that was a smile. A smile. We've had a lot of comebacks this this weekend. Utilis Group winner, Toy Group winner, and now Wire Fox Terrier CC winner. So there we are, champion Travella striking steel. Dog CC at Crafton is his first, first CC here. And then if he gets best to breed, will it be the group? The famous Border Terrier, the Wire Fox Terrier, Irish, Irish Terrier, Terry Blue, Norfolk, Norwich, the Celium, and here's this little Westie. And he's walking straight away. Would you guess? Oh, 
fantastic. They've got it right again, fantastic. Frank. The little West Highland boat. That's little wonderful. Little Devon, 20 months old. And the border. The other dog from the north, it's the border terrier. Three the terrier blue takes yes, the three. Yes, yes. <laughs> then the little Norfolk bitch. But there well, is... many congratulations, Marie. You just won the terrier group at Crafts with Devon. I mean, that's just incredible. Oh, God, I can't believe it. It hasn't sunk in yet, you know. I still, like, think you're dreaming. But you just can't find the words to explain how it feels. I mean, you know, just so proud, especially when you've bred the dog yourself as well. It's many years of hard work. But you've had an incredible 12 months with her. Have, yes. She, um, she actually came out at her first show um, at six months and one day and got fifth out of five. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the second show was a couple of months later. She had time to mature and she came out and won Best Puppy in Short, Scottish Breeds. The following week, got Best Puppy in Short, National Terrier, and it just went on from there, you know. But yeah, she's had a great winning streak. And also, she's already qualified for the Champion Stakes final in the UK later this year already. She has, yeah. She did it at the first show at Manchester. Um, she qualified there, yeah. So, that, again, that's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so, this year, summing up already to be pretty good 2016. Oh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was actually she actually got the CC and Best of Breed at Manchester as well while we were there. So, you know, she's had a great time. It's just absolutely great. And it's great... Um, the acknowledgement that you get from, you know, other breed people and specialists and people who's been in the doggy world for years and years, I mean, you know, come up and admire it. And that, that's absolutely fabulous to get that recognition, you know, after all the hard work that you do. Beagle going first. The long-haired Dachshund, mini smooth. Standard one. The finished spits. The Pharaoh Hound. The Rhodesian Ridgeback. The Whippet. It's and the he's whippet. gone for the Whippet. Hazel, owned by Lee Morris, George Waddle, Charlie Donaldson, and the Wirehead Daxon gets group two. And the Rhodesian Ridgeback, and group four, the standard long-haired Daxons. Well, it's getting very close to best in show now. We've yeah, just we're seen, there. we're almost there. We've just seen the Terrier group and the Hound group. So we've got my expert here, Andrew Brace, that's just going to talk us through a little bit of the placing. So topping the Terriers was, well, this gorgeous Westie. Gorgeous You've girl. done well. You've gorgeous. done this one well gorgeous before. Girl. Well, yeah, and when Di and I were doing the wrap-up on last year, I think we said something along the lines of keep an eye on this bitch in 2016 because she could be doing something big. Well... I think she just did. You know, she was more than a worthy winner. Absolutely. And in Group 2, we have this fabulous Border Terrier that's been doing so much winning in the last 12 months. Yes, yes. And, and one best of breed under Mr Irving, no less. And, um, yeah, we watched him at the Yukon Uber Champion Stakes final too, didn't we? Yes, Where he was com competing with his father. Yeah. And then in third, um, an Irish champion, Kerry Blue Terrier, from its native land. Yes, well, a Kerry Blue from Ireland. <laughs> so, um, yeah, what, what could be more fitting? And then we have the Norfolk bitch, yes. the Kindredge bitch. She won a group at Southern Counties and then best in show at three counties under Arn Arch. So um, she's, you know, she's, she's having a great run and she's holding form. So, moving on to the Hound Group, the last group of yes. Crufts 2016, yeah. and the one that tops it all is the numerically strongest breed in the group, the Whippet, which had some ridiculous over 400 entries today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, that was another one that the crowd was on. Um, clean lines, um, Jeff's very into Whippets. I mean, he, know, he, know, he knows, well, he knows all his Hound <laughs> breeds. Lovely outline, but yeah, an another popular group winner. Yeah, I know she was top Whippet last year and top Puppy the year before, so she's just continuing her winning ways. Yeah, following it all through. Now we have the wire-haired Dachshund that came a close second. Yeah, well, you know, that's another breed that Jeff knows inside out. Very correct, great moving, never lost its top line. And in Group 3, we have this top winning Ridgeback from last year. Yeah, very impressive bitch. Free flowing movement. Um, Typey, she's got the substance, she's got the class. And then... Coming up in fourth was this long-haired Dachshund, I believe, from America. Yeah, that was a that was a real dark horse. Um, but again, you know, one of Jeff's specialist breeds. Uh, <clears throat> great Dachshund carriage. I'd never seen it before. Um, looked very impressive on the table and certainly didn't disappoint on the move. Thank you very much, Andrew. Let's get back in the warm to watch Best in Show. Um, my tip is the Border Collie. Your tip's the Border Collie? Yes. OK. Um, if I was a betting man... I'd be getting to Ladbrokes and putting a lot of money on one of tonight's group winners. <laughs> I, th I, think, I think it's going to be definitely something beginning with the W. Westy or Whippet? 
There we go. You heard it here first. Let's go and see Best in Show. Yes, please. The stage is set. So entering the ring now tonight's Best in Show judge, Derek Smith. And here comes the first. This is champion Lonsdale's genuine. And this is champion Yaki Ua Cantona, Eric. Uh, the Gordon Setter, show champion Lourdes Fulcrum. Bouvier de Flandre, champion Lisport, Lord of the Rings. The Border Collie, champion Sismaro, cold as ice. The delightful West Highland White Terrier. The champion Bernie's Geordie Girl. A huge cheer for the Whippet. Champion, nothing compares to you at Crosscrop. But who's it going to be? <gasps> the little Westie oh, takes best in uh, show for 2016. What a fantastic win. Little Geordie girl from Bishop Auckland, County Durham, is best in show at Crufts. Wonderful. Her first group win. Oh, that's marvellous. Under two years old, and she's topped the lot, but with such a superb performance, a well-deserved win. She did not put a foot wrong. And the Whippets going into reserve. It's the Whippet who was reserved best in show. So our two group winners from tonight have taken the top spot and reserve. So there we have it, the West Highland White Terrier, Devon, takes Crufts Best in Show 2016. I'm delighted that we've managed to catch up with her owner, Marie Burns. Now, how are you feeling right now? Oh God, just absolutely amazing. You know, it's just, you just can't describe the feeling when the judge comes walking towards you. You're just willing them to you, you know. It's just, I mean, the excitement, um, a little bit nervous, but honestly it just you can't really find the words to describe it you know it's just all emotions and obviously a few tears when I won because it, you just let that emotion out you know but and so proud so proud of Devon as well and I suspect there was quite a lot of pressure on her performance to carry on all the way through from winning her class this morning yeah. to now you know sort of eight nine ten hours later yeah I mean she is she's just 20 months old you know so she's still quite young um, and she was starting to get a little bit tired which is understandable because I'm tired myself you know it's a long day but she, you know she still kept going bless her and um, you know she did show well. So now tell me you watched this uh, Crufts as a little girl and you had some I thoughts did, about this. Yeah I used to watch Crufts when I, when I was small and um, I would say to me mum um, when I I, I would say to I would say to me mum that uh, one day I'm going to get a proper dog <laughs> and go to Crufts. <laughs> and we always had family pets, you know, mixed breeds and things like that. Um, and um, obviously watching Crufts, you think they're all famous people that go to Crufts and things like that. So for little old me to be here today is amazing. <laughs> An owner bred, handled, and a yeah. British winner as well. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You honestly can't, you know, speechless, absolutely speechless. And I don't think it'll sink in until next week <laughs> when I've watched it a few times on the telly <laughs> first. But no, it's been absolutely amazing. And I would like to say, you know, thanks to the judges for thinking so highly of her. Um, we've had a great year. Devon's had a fantastic year. She's had some great reviews um, of people that, you know, I have the greatest respect for. Um, and she's really put us on the map, you know, she has. So, yeah. It's been absolutely amazing. And this is just, you know, top to today's, you know, fantastic. Well, many congratulations. Um, it was a great win and we love watching you. Thanks very much. Thank you. So the Westie, Bernie's Geordie girl, goes best in show. And reserve is the Whippet. And I am delighted to be joined by the Terrier Group judge, Dan Erickson. That must have been thrilling to see your dog, your choice, go all the way. Absolutely. Wonderful. And I'm, it's always a particular joy when other judges see dogs similarly. And I, I, a dog of such immense quality, I felt, just had to be recognised. I think she's one of the loveliest of a breed that I have ever seen. Well, that's such a statement. Well, mm. thank you very much, Dan. Pleasure. I'm mm. sure you're very delighted. You can go I on party now. I am really delighted. <laughs> thank you very much. You. Now, of course, we've got to bring in our expert. And he really is an expert because he did predict that it would go to one of the two W's. I mean, honestly, Andrew, you can do no wrong. Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just, I mean, I, I know the way that Derek thinks and I know how he's drawn to quality. The Westie bitch, you know, we've gone on, we've gone on film previously saying what a star she is and that she was gonna go on to great things. 
Um, well, there's not much great, I think, to go on to, is there? As best in show. And you know, she's a baby. Yeah. I mean, Marie's going to have a problem now yes. because she's so young. She's won what is basically the top award in dogdom. Um, she's already qualified for the Yukon Uber Champion Stakes finals um, for this year. So who knows? I mean, she's going to need a few days to get ahead around the whole thing, I would imagine. But I mean, I'm, I'm delighted it was lovely. And I mean, the Whippet is a classical Whippet bitch. Um, and I mean, if anything, in Best in Show, she went better than she did in the group. She just flowed. I said, I think when we, when we were talking about crafts on the last programme, I said Derek would get it right. And he did.